Hello, Pisces. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of August 23rd through the 29th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now, Pisces, take what resonates and leave the rest as these are general readings. All right, Pisces, so let's take a look at what's going on for the week ahead. First card, Ten of Pentacles, nice. Next, Major Arcana card, The Tower. And Major Arcana card, Justice, wow. Okay, Pisces, we'll get to your Oracle cards in just a moment, but Give me just a moment here. I want to see if there's any other messages coming through from Spirit for you. Wow. One message, Pisces, coming immediately through is someone is winning a court case where you'll be receiving a considerable sum of money. So the energy coming in this week is shaking things up. Okay, Pisces. Well, you got the Ten of Pentacles, an indication that you've got some money coming in. So for some of you, this could be finding a new job, getting a bonus, a promotion. For others, this can be an inheritance coming in or a lawsuit, possibly paying off in your favor. Now, the Pentacles here is in regards to your health, money, your job, security. So for some of you, this could possibly be investing your money very wisely and a very successful investment pays off Pisces. But the 10 of Pentacles can also be a different kind of wealth coming in. It could be spiritual or emotional wealth. It can be in regards to your health. You might have been battling something Pisces health-wise. And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's an indication that things are going to start going your way. Things are going to get resolved. Now, this is Virgo's card in energy. It's a very organized, health-conscious, practical energy. It's ruled by Mercury, which is in regards to communication, your perception, Pisces, possibly business, maybe traveling for business. But this number 10 energy of this card is the most complete form of the suit's energy. It's almost like a transcendental completion. And then with this energy, it gets reduced down to number one, so it's time to go out and seek new things, new pursuits. Now, do you see these two little fellows here? Let me see if I can get that to focus. Well, you might be surprised to know that the symbolism of rats is actually good luck and good fortune. So that's why these little guys are pictured here on this pentacles, this chest full of pentacles. Now your next card, Pisces, the tower. This is where all the change is coming in. And you have not one, but two major arcana cards significant change coming in. Now, with this being the tower card, it's blasting off like the top parts of the tower. So it could be a recent relationship or a recent job, something you're eliminating from your life. And then we see this poor individual being thrown down. So that could have something to do with the energy that I was picking up in winning a court case. Maybe it's a lawsuit and you're just winning the lawsuit with a vengeance. This is very powerful energy striking at a specific part of the tower. Your foundation is fine here, Pisces. The, and also the top two layers that blew off are still whole. So it's something that was near the top. Maybe that started some time ago and now you are striking at the particular situation a particular relationship, a particular job. It's that kind of energy. 
whatever it is, this is truly an elimination process, Pisces. Now, when the Tower card shows up, it can be something that you've taken for granted or something that's going to be thrown into question. So this can be in regards to the steady job you thought you had or the loving relationship you thought you had. So something in specific is being eliminated from your life by your choice, Pisces. This is thinking about things in a brand new way and then taking action. So when the tower shows up, your normal way of thinking, your deeply held assumptions are being questioned at this time. So it is a good time to get rid of old belongings, maybe going out and trying something new, maybe taking a trip. As the tower card shows up, indicating drastic changes are required in your life, Pisces. And this number 16 energy of the tower card reduced to seven. Seven does represent things that are put in your way, in your path, Pisces, that you have no control over, but you do have control over how you react to these things. So this is some kind of change or action taking place that's going to actually be in your best interest, Pisces. Now your last card here, the major arcana card justice, the balance of the scales, and they look pretty well balanced to me. So something is going to work out in your favor this week, Pisces, because everything is going to fall into place just as it was meant to be. So this is really a time this week, Pisces, to put the emotions away, time to think logically, Maybe make a list of pros and cons if you're trying to make an important decision. And as I was picking up in the beginning, this card showing up could be legal action, a court case. Justice will prevail. And for some Pisces individuals, you're going to win a lawsuit, which is then going to bestow a considerable amount of money your way. Now, this, of course, is Libra's card and energy dealing with your fifth and sixth chakra. So that's your communication and then your perception on things using your intuition Pisces to guide you this week. Now this number 11 of the justice card is a master number, tremendous power and energy for spiritual insight and intuition. So even though she's got a blindfold on, that's to balance the scales by not being influenced by what you see or hear or feel. It's only the information at hand. But again, something's gonna work out in your favor, Pisces. Now, your numerology for your three tarot cards is number 37, which reduces down to 10, which is an indication that something is coming to an end for you, Pisces. And then further reducing that 10 down to number one is that you're gonna be moving on to something new. Now let's take a look at which crystal your angels and guides have suggested for you for this week, Pisces. You received, wow, what a big surprise, Moonstone. <laughs> Not a surprise, because that is your element. Wow. And my Moonstone is not far away. There we go. Mine's more creamy kind of color. Well, Moonstone is associated with your crown chakra. And with you being one of the most intuitive signs of the zodiac Pisces, it's about utilizing this crystal this week for meditation, enhancing your intuition, tapping into the moon's energies, as it can have something to do with how you feel. In regards to the moon's energies, it can either make you feel energized or it can pull you down and make you feel emotionally tired and fatigued. So pay attention to the moon signals as we just had a full moon on the 22nd. Now, the last message here for your reading comes from the Ancestor Spirit Oracle deck, getting a final message from your ancestors. And you received shine brightly. Look at the, indivi the excuse me, individuality. 
with these natives. They're from, I believe this is Papua New Guinea, pa Papua New Guinea, but it's about shining brightly, to stand out, be proud, your individuality. So the message for you this week, Pisces, is it's time to light up and shine brightly. Be proud of who you are, Pisces, and what you stand for. Know that you are definitely needed here on Earth. The universe supports you, helping you to shine so others can benefit from your positive energy. Now for some Pisces, some kind of calling for some of you to try to show others the, the way towards their own positive life path. So you can be the candle or light in the darkness, Pisces. So it's something to do with what you have to offer to the world, either your gifts, your traits, your talents. So this is an indication of no longer having to hide your gifts or who you are, to be proud of your unique spirit and to shine as bright as you can. So in summary, for the week ahead, Pisces, for some of you, you're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles which is an indication of what I was picking up. Like in the beginning, winning a court case, being awarded a large sum of money. Now for others, the Ten of Pentacles can be in regards to your health, things getting resolved, or it can be an inheritance or investment headed your way. Now your next two cards here is what's bringing in all the change and commotion this week. Your first card here, the tower, is eliminating something that's no longer needed in your life. Something that started a little while ago. So it could be the elimination of a job you no longer enjoy, or it could be a relationship that's going nowhere. It's something where you're particularly eliminating something here that you've built into your life. A certain part of your life you're eliminating and moving forward. Now your last tarot card is justice, an indication that things are going to balance out for you Pisces. Things are going to work out as they were meant to be. And for some Pisces individuals, you're going to really love the result. Now your numerology this week is 37, reduces to 10 and then down to 1. Something's coming to an end, and you're going to then proceed on a new path or a new journey. Your angels and guides are suggesting Moonstone to meditate with for this week, as we just had a full moon, which might affect you in ways that you don't realize, Pisces, so pay attention to that. Strengthen your co-partnership with Spirit through your crown chakra for this week, and understand how you can use the moon cycles to your advantage. And your ancestor's card and message is to shine brightly. Stop hiding your unique you, Pisces, your gifts, your talents, what you have to offer the world. This is a card of embracing your unique individuality. You are very much needed here on Earth, Pisces, to show others the way towards their own life path. So Pisces, know that you are and can be a candle or light in the darkness for many, just leading the way so others can see where they need to go to find their own light. So embrace your power, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And if you're interested in a private tarot card reading, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance to my Pisces family.